Hi, this is Narasimha Rao, and in this video, we will see how the sale point connects to Oracle eBusiness using Oracle eBusiness Suite connector, and later we will see a use case on the user birth rate provisioning followed by the RBAC provisioning hierarchical model. I have created a Oracle eBusiness Suite application with the credentials created at Oracle eBusiness database side. Here we could see the application type is Oracle eBusiness which is the out of box connector provided by the sale point. Please ask the DBA to provide the TNS details to input the database URL. The inputs what we require here is the host name, the port and the database name that we use to connect to the Oracle eBusiness Suite database. Once we get the details, test the connection. Configure the provisioning policies using the create account which can be used for the automatic provisioning. Let's consider a use case where a user has joined the organization. So let's perform the account aggregation on the authority to source application which discusses the new users. Here once the task is completed we can check the task results which mentions that a new identity has been created in this sale point identity IQ. Now let's check the business process which is used for attaching the to the joiner lifecycle event. Here I am making use of Oracle EBS business process for the automated birth rate provisioning. Here we could see the provisioning plan which contains the account request and attribute request and also in the build approval set an approval set is created which contains the manager approval and the application owner approval and finally the birth rate provision comes into picture which makes use of LCM sub process. Next we run the refresh identity task to process the events which kicks off the lifecycle event. Here we could see the new user, the new user ECHY1227 has been is being provisioned and it's waiting for the manager approval ECHY1167. So we will log in as the new the manager user and try to approve. So let's log in as ECHY1167. and we could see an approval is waiting here we could see the description as account changes for user ECHP1227 so the manager approves the once the manager approves next is go for the application owner approval As the application one here is SP admin, we check the approval and based on the decision it proceeds further. Basically, we approve. So finally, once the approval is done, it makes use of the provisioning process and proceeds with the LCM provisioning. Once the provisioning is completed, we could see the workflow is ended. Now, let's go to the identity and see its application accounts. You could see that Thomas Kohn has been created in Identity IQ with Oracle Business Suite account with the assigned roles and responsibilities. 
Now we we'll log in as into the Oracle forms and check whether the user has been provisioned. Here we could see the user has been provisioned with the required responsibilities and roles. Now let's move let's move on to the next user case, RPAC role based access provisioning. SailPoint Identity IQ maintains a hierarchical role model which consists of business roles, IT roles and entitlements. In order to reproduce the use case of manager and employee, I created two IT roles and two business roles. Here we could see the employee IT role which consists of entitlements, internet expenses and employee self service. Similarly, the manager IT role has the responsibilities of mobile expenses and the manager self service. Here we could see the manager has an extra responsibility where he can raise the mobile expenses while the employee can raise only the internet expenses. So we assign the employee IT role to the employee business role here we could see the employee IT role is be, is being assigned to the employee business role similarly we assign the manager IT role to the manager business role As the manager himself is an employee, he inherits the employee business role. So basically the manager business role has two roles. One is the employee business role and other one is the manager IT role. So let's proceed with the use case. Here the employee is ECHY 1227 Thomas Cohn and while his manager is Catherine. So the employee is Thomas Cohn while the manager is Kathleen. Probably we can go and check the forms. What are the responsibilities and roles assigned to the user and manager? Currently, we could see the user has HRL press responsibility while the manager has only one responsibility of the administrator privileges. Let's move on and provide the responsibilities what has been created at the sale point. Basically we provide the employee IT role, the employee business role which inherits the employee IT role. And once the provisioning, provisioning is completed, we can check the task results to make sure that the task has been completed. Now log on to the Oracle eBusiness forms to check the roles and responsibilities assigned to the user. We could see 
the responsibilities new responsibilities have been assigned to the user the employee self service and the internet expenses similarly now we try to provision for the manager Here we could see the Oracle Business Suite account is, has been assigned with the new responsibilities and the roles assigned. And now we provision the manager. And we assign the manager business role. As mentioned earlier, as the manager business role inherits the manager IT role as well as the main, uh, employee business role, so it gets the responsibilities of both employee and manager. Let's log on to EBS forms to see whether the roles and responsibilities have been reflecting on the EBS side. Probably I should check the username. Probably we can see the the details of the main user and the first name is Kathleen. Here we could see the manager possesses both the manager and employee roles and responsibilities. That is the manager has both the responsibility of internet expenses as well as the mobile expenses the employee self service and the manager self service we can even check from the user management level Click on the users. And check for the manager details. Here we could see at the EBS level the roles and responsibilities assigned to Kathleen. You could see the following roles and responsibilities are assigned to Kathleen. The mo internet expenses, the mobile expenses, the employee self-service, the manager self-service. In this way, 
using the RBAC role based access provisioning we can control the security at the role level rather than assign the responsibilities at user level. This completes the use case demo where the user is provisioned using the automated birth rate provisioning and the roles have been assigned using the role based access control. Thanks a lot for your time and attention.